the Thursday Captain. I bought this boot four years ago, and it was my introduction to the world of Goodyear welted boots. This pair has traveled four continents, gone through snowstorms, and has traversed easily over a thousand miles through a thousand wares. After all of that, here are my thoughts. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to Boot Spy. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Thursday Captain. I've had these for four years and I'm gonna give you my full thoughts, my full breakdown on this boot and whether or not you should pick it up for yourself. So first things first, let's start off by talking about the style. The Thursday Captain bridges the gap between rugged and stylish. The toe box is quite slim and narrow, so they're an excellent match with a slim pair of jeans. If we compare the Captain to another popular cap toe boot, the Red Wing Iron Ranger, that slimmed down silhouette becomes more apparent. Still, it has that workwear inspired cap toe that lends a lot of American heritage style and that rugged masculine vibe. The Thursday Captain is made with a 360 degree Goodyear welt construction, which means it has excellent water resistance and it's super easy to resole. I'm really impressed with the leather quality on the Captain. It's made with Thursday's own proprietary Thursday Chrome leather. This leather is very similar to Horween Chrome XL, super easy to treat, you don't need to condition it very often. You don't really need to do much to take care of it. And it's going to patina beautifully. It's going to crease beautifully. And then ultimately it's not gonna crack in a year or two. Uh, for the first three years, I didn't condition these once and I've soaked them through in snowstorms. I've dried them out by a fireplace, which is like, I've done every single leather care no-no, I've done it all, and they still hold up, they still look great. I picked up my Captains in brown, and I was initially a bit disappointed with how shiny they were, but they broke in and creased nicely and quickly picked up a more natural look. Thursday Chrome is among the best leather quality that I found in a boot that's $200 or even a little bit above that, so I think you're getting a fantastic value considering the longevity and how well it patinas and creases over time. The Captain is outfitted with a recessed rubber stud sole. It has a lot of traction, even in wet and icy conditions, but it doesn't add a ton of height to the profile of the boot, which I really like. As you can probably tell, the heel is worn almost completely down, but after a thousand wears, that's to be expected. Luckily, I can easily get this resold because of the Goodyear welt. One of the biggest differences between the Captain and other even more expensive boots is that the Captain has an EVA comfort strip in its midsole. That makes these super comfortable. And so it's especially helpful. These are probably the most comfortable boots that I own. And that is huge if you do a lot of walking like I do. As for fit and sizing, Thursday recommends going a half size smaller. It's what I did and they fit perfectly out of the box. Thursday's Amazon page only carries the standard D width sizes for the captain, but the brand also offers double E, triple E wide sizing through their website. One of the reasons why I enjoyed this boot when I first got it is that there's virtually no break-in period and it is super comfortable right out of the box. It has all of the comfort and kind of like softness that you would expect from a sneaker, but it's in this rugged boot package. When you combine that supple leather with the soft midsole and the uh, very flexible outsole, basically you get a, a boot that's super easy to break in. There aren't any pain points and it pretty quickly molds to the shape of your foot. At the time of filming this, the Thursday Captain's at $199. The brand has never done a sale, and as far as I can remember, it's always been $199, so I wouldn't wait around waiting for it to go to a lower price than that. This is my final verdict on the Thursday Captain. It's one of the best entry-level boots you can buy. It has all the hallmarks of like a $300 or $400 boot, including fantastic leather and that Goodyear welt, but it also has the EVA comfort strip in the midsole, and that makes this so easy to put on a ton of miles when you're walking around the city. This is a great boot for that. At the time I bought it, I was 26 years old, $200, that was more money that I'd ever invested in, in anything, shoes, boots, clothes, anything like that. So I was really on the fence about it, I wasn't sure. So if that sounds like you, if you're on the fence, if you're not sure you're ready to invest $200, Take it from me, I've had these for four years, probably a thousand miles. They've been on adventures across four different continents. So I could say with, you know, 100% confidence that yes, this pair of boots is worth it. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and also hit that like button. Both things are super helpful for the channel and I really appreciate it. There's another boot out there that I think is up in the runnings for best entry level boot. So hit that video over there, check it out now. And until next time, put your best boot forward.